We are now looking at the Communicator 2 monitor from Kloss. This monitor controls all the functions on the Quadrant 5300. The first menu that you will see is the working menu. And it, while you move the scroll wheel, you can see that there are five different working screen settings that you can scroll through. Um, you can select any one that you choose. We'll just start on working menu five. On this menu, we'll just briefly go through all the functions. You can set your bail length. You just select the item, push the button on the scroll wheel to select, and you can turn to select your desired length. And then you can just move to the next one to pre-select any function that you want to change. Next, you can see that the pressure for the bail is down here. That can also be changed. Moving down the screen, you can see the pre-chamber setting. Once we get to the pre-chamber setting and select that, you can see that there we are on small windrow and there is also the large windrow setting and the pre-chamber on and off. You can see this is going to be the number of strokes for the pre-chamber. Moving down, you can see the bail count for the customer and you can also change the, the customer that you're currently working on. As we move to the right column, you can see the flake size in inches, just to get you a good idea of the size of the flake you're creating in the pre-chamber, and also the moisture if your baler is equipped with a moisture sensor. As we go along the sides of the monitor, we'll go through the buttons. So this icon will raise the drop floor, the second button will lower the drop floor, and you can tell that it is darkened, and that means the drop floor is currently down. Also, we have the knives up and down settings. Once again, black means that that's where the knives are currently at. On the side here, we can see that we can select the pressure to enable that. Also, we have manual tie function, and then this is how you would decrease the pressure on the baler. In the bottom, it also shows which functions are selected while operating. Next, we can move to the settings screen. In the settings, you have the option to select different crops. So you can create an own, a personal profile for crops such as if you're in alfalfa and if you want to move to straw, you can change it and change the settings for that type of crop in terms of bale length and pressure. Also you can change the pre-chamber setting from one to one, small and large. In this settings menu, you can select the auto pressure control and the percentage at which you want to run that. We recommend running the Quadrant 5300 in the auto setting. Also in the auto setting, you get the Nodder monitoring. In this, you can select how high of a setting from one to 10 on which you wish to run the Nodders. On the size here, you can see just zeroing out the auto pressure control and increasing the pressure, decreasing the pressure, and increasing and decreasing the nodder sensitivity. So as we continue, we get into the counters. Now we have the total bail count, the bail count for the day. You can change the customer, uh, bales and feet. Um, just the buttons on the side here for zeroing out those totals. The next menu is the faults menu. These two buttons here, you can scroll up and down between faults. You can also erase a fault here. Here you can also see some more faults. You can get to the sensors menu. 
here, all it's showing is based on which you can select which sensors you want to be shown. One, a zero or one determines if that sensor is on and off. And as we look here on the pressure, you can see that it's giving you a voltage. And you could also select the drop floor. And on the drop floor, you can see that only voltage is applicable. But as if we go back to the pressure, you can select also the pressure. Next is the maintenance menu and you can have your maintenance interval and you can zero that out here. And that is the Kloss monitor for the Quadrant 5300.